Hey y'all, so today we are doing an informative video. We are gonna do a Q&A on travel nursing. I compiled my own questions that I feel most people would ask when it comes to travel nursing. And y'all can leave comments in the comment section if you have any other questions and I'll definitely get back to you. So the first one is how to get started. So when you first do travel nursing, what you want to do is definitely do your research as far as what travel agency you want to work with. I encourage all travel nurses or all aspiring travel nurses to work with several agencies. And the way you can go about that, you can simply Google travel nursing agencies online and um, look up reviews on these agencies, figure out if other nurses enjoyed working with these agencies and go from there. Once you find the travel nursing agency, you simply go on the website, apply to be considered to be a travel nurse with that agency and a recruiter will reach out to you via phone or email or both. And from there, the ball gets rolling. They'll give you a call and they'll ask you a series of questions to get a feel of what area in nursing you wanna get into, what you're looking for with schedule, what location, where you wanna start, things like that. So um, from there, you will work with a recruiter and they'll basically handle most of everything for you. Some travel agencies I highly recommend. Aya is amazing. I currently am working with Aya Healthcare. And that is one of the top travel nursing agencies. They definitely take care of you. Great perks, we'll get into the perks later on. Medical Solutions is another good travel agency that I worked with as well for my last travel assignment. They were great as well. I enjoyed my time at Medical Solutions as well. I definitely will return to them. Those are the only two travel agencies I personally have experience with. But there's also Travel Nurses of America. That's another travel agency that I've heard of and favorite healthcare staffing. I've never worked with favorite healthcare staffing. I've only spoken to recruiters with favorite healthcare staffing, so I can't vouch for them, but I know that they can offer jobs for travel. But there's plenty of options. There's a plenty of different routes you can take when it comes to the travel agency. You just have to Google, do some research, definitely ask around. Another great resource is Reddit. I love Reddit. Go to the internet for sure to figure out where to go next. All right, so how to know if you're ready for travel nursing. Personally, I feel the two biggest things when it comes to knowing you're ready for travel nursing is experience and confidence. Those are the two things. With experience, you they kind of go into, they, one goes into the other. So if you have the experience, you'll feel more confident entering an unfamiliar area of work and depending on the assignment that you're on, they could give you plenty of resources and set you up for success, or they could just throw you to the wolves. You need to be able to be ready for whatever comes at you. So know that you need to be experienced enough and confident enough in your experience to come into a foreign workspace and do what you gotta do. So it ultimately does boil down to experience and confidence. And then on top of that when it comes to confidence you need to know how to carry yourself when it comes to entering these spaces as a travel nurse because there are a lot of personalities in general but when you come in as a travel nurse you may come into contact with some people who just simply don't want to welcome you or don't really care to see you succeed or will try and set you up to have a not so fair assignment you need to know that you need to know what's fair for you and be able to advocate for yourself and speak up with confidence and tell people no so if you struggle with boundaries or you struggle with letting people know that i'm not okay with this and i will not be doing this you need to work on those skills as a nurse and then you can revisit doing travel nursing once you feel like you're more confident in that area but you definitely need to know how to stand up for yourself. So you shouldn't be walking into travel nursing feeling insecure about your skill, insecure about your boundaries, insecure about standing up for yourself. None of that. That all needs to be pretty solid because unfortunately in the healthcare field, people can be 
And I think in just in general, people can be not so nice and they don't take into account patient safety and the safety of their staff at times, including travel. So they may try and set you up a little bit and you need to be able to tell them, no, I don't feel comfortable with this. And you'll be, you'll be good. And as far as experience goes, I don't think you need years and years and years of experience to do travel. Everybody is different. Some people may feel that they need that experience. They need 10 years under their belt in order to feel comfortable. And that is completely up to you personally. I only had about two years of experience before I entered travel nursing. But I am very confident in my skill and I'm also very confident in my voice. I'm very confident in using my voice and speaking up when I need to. Like you're not about to play me. So because of that, So because of that, when I went into travel nursing, I knew that I had my back. I will say I got very lucky with my first assignment and the assignment I'm currently at. Both assignments, people were very welcoming. They really let us slowly matriculate into the PACU setting that I was working at. They never really pushed me to the wolves, but there's going to be times you may experience that, especially if you're working on a floor are working in med surge or you know an area where it's just super chaotic you may experience that so you need to be ready to advocate for yourself and you need to feel as if you are prepared to pick up anything and go with it and you're not going to know everything of course you, you may be learning on the job a little bit but you should know the majority of things when you go onto the floor and if you don't know something you need to be strategic with how you approach not knowing something sometimes depending on the way your floor is set up you may feel you can trust somebody and ask them a question and that could be true but if you feel like you can't trust somebody there's nothing wrong with simply doing the research yourself which i feel is what a nurse should do anyways you're not going to know everything under the sun so make sure you have your back and do the research how long is a travel nursing assignment <clears throat> what's going on so how long is the travel nursing assignment typically assignments are 13 weeks long so about three months but sometimes it can be a little shorter the assignments that i've done have all been 13 weeks which i feel is the perfect amount of time to you know get to see the area you're staying in for what it is and work and make money so I think 13 weeks is perfect. And then of course you can extend um, if they give you that option. Does travel nursing pay well? So this is a very good question. So honestly, when it comes to travel nursing, especially currently, the pay is good. It's better than staff for sure, but it could be better. It could always be better. Um, but the pay is good. I would say the pay is worth it, especially if you crunch the numbers correctly and you're not breaking the bank, paying rent, um, both in your home state and your travel state, then I definitely feel it's worth it and you'll make a lot of money in a short period of time. The thing that people need to know about travel nursing is what makes your checks so fat isn't your hourly rate half the time. Unfortunately, the hourly rates tend to be closer to staff or a bit below staff. So you may see a PACU travel nursing position. The hourly rate is $32 an hour. That is very low. That is like first year nursing hourly rate or maybe even a bit below that. But what makes up for it is the stipends, the meals stipend and the housing stipend. So the meal stipend and the housing stipend is what is going to make your checks fat. And you get that weekly as long as you do all your shifts for that week. You also get reimbursed for all of your expenses going towards your travel. They oftentimes will gift you for Nurses Week. Currently with the Travel Nursing Agency I'm working with, they've been giving me fixed jackets, which are not cheap. Those are like $120, $130. Great quality jackets and you're getting that for free. So there's a lot of perks um, on top of the pay. 
And I think that makes travel nursing more than worth it. Because when you're a staff nurse, you'll get a, a little thing of pizza. That's what you get on Nurses Week. If you can even get there quick enough before everyone else eats it. You know, you get something. You get more than an ice cream social. You get a, you get a fig's jacket, you get money. Lots of it. So I think it's worth it for sure. The untaxed stipend for your meals and your housing is what's going to make it worth it. And then what do I like best about travel nursing? What I love best about travel nursing is the fact that I get to see the world and I get to travel to different states and feel it out, not how you would feel out a state when you're on vacation, but I'm really living here. So I know if I like the state for what it is. And I think that's so important because I know for one, I wanna travel a lot and I also know I wanna move around. I know that I currently where I'm at, living home state, may not be where I settle down. I wanna be able to travel the world and figure out if I like these areas and maybe one day settle down in these areas in an area that I enjoy. So with travel nursing, I really get to feel the city or state that I'm in for what it is. Like when I did my first travel assignment, it was in Miami, Florida. And if I went to Miami on vacation, I might say, I want to live here. I could still see myself living here. It's lit. It's warm. But when you live there, you see you're not only there for the clubs and the restaurants and the beaches. You're, you're going grocery shopping. You're walking to your job. You're parking your car. You're doing all the mundane day-to-day -day activities that you do in your home state. So you really get to feel if you like the area do you like the people do you like the restaurants like not just the restaurants where they're playing the electric violin and like there's strippers in the pool like do you like the corner restaurant with the sandwiches like do you like the small things about the city um the everyday things and with Miami being there for that assignment I knew I would never want to live there I would definitely go there again for vacation but never would I live there. And that's a great life experience. It's also just really cool to be able to say that I lived and just to be able to experience living in these different, all these different states temporarily. There's not many careers where you're able to do that. I follow a girl on TikTok who's a nurse. She's a travel nurse and she's um, very cool. And I think she's from Philly. And she was saying that like, there's not many careers where you're able to just travel and live somewhere temporarily for such a short window of time, but long enough for you to actually enjoy it. Like when you're a business, when you work in business and you live in a certain city temporarily, it's like long term. You might be there for a year, two years. Um, you kind of feel stuck if you don't like it there. But here, you're here for 13 weeks. Like you're here for three months. You just do everything you can while you're here. Soak up the area, try new things. And then if you like it there, you can move there. You can also just never go back if you don't like it. It's just like, it's it's nice to have the freedom and the opportunity to experience these new places um, and get paid much better than I would being in my home state for doing the same thing. So yeah, it's just a great experience and it's, um, it's a great life experience and I feel it's going to help me figure out where I want to settle down eventually when I decide to do that. And I also like that being in new cities just makes life so exciting. Like everything is different. I can, and every place offers something different. When I was in Miami and I would do like workout classes, they had like pole classes and aerial dancing classes and hot yoga that was the first place i ever did hot yoga which they have that other places too but miami is a very like young and fun area so there was a lot of cool classes that some of which i didn't even get to partake in but i partaked in some cool classes and got to do some really cool things that i've always wanted to do and i wouldn't have been afforded that opportunity if i weren't in that state so it really just opens up your world and it gives you the opportunity to make more money and stack up while traveling the world, which is literally insane. And I am very appreciative. Which leads me to my last question. Is travel nursing worth it? Let me think. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's, <laughs> yes, it's worth it. It's more than worth it. I think that if you are young, you should travel. Actually, 
let me not even say that. Let me not put anyone in a box. If you are a nurse and you're interested in travel, do it. I don't care if you have a boyfriend. I don't care if you have a dog. Figure it out. Bring your dog with you. Leave the boyfriend home. Like, do what you gotta do. And I think you shouldn't let things stifle you. A lot of nurses have told me they wanted to do travel nursing, but then they met their fiance or, and they put it on hold. And whenever they tell me that they didn't do it, they, they sound upset about it. Like, they regret it. Always try and always do everything you want to do in this life. When it comes to travel nursing, if you say you meet somebody right before you're going to think about doing travel nursing, you better follow through and do it. And do it for one assignment. At least you can say, I did it. And I know it's not for me. And I want to have a staff job and, and build a family. That is completely fine. But at least you tried it and you know that it's not for you. Don't ever put yourself in a box. I'm going on a tangent. It is extremely worth it. A lot of the reasons why it's worth it is what I just mentioned to you. But the main things for me, you make a lot more money. You save a lot in a short period of time. It really allows you to build that foundation financially. And I'm very fortunate for that. Um, you get to see the world. You get to meet new people. You get to make connections. Um, you get to see how different hospitals work. And it really works to strengthen your skill as a nurse because me I've always been a very fast learner and I picked up I pick up on things quickly and I'm efficient I've always had that in me but when I started doing travel I really realized how much of a skill that is that I have and I also realized that I'm strengthening the skill by going to these new places and just picking up how y'all do things and doing it as if I've been doing it for months it really strengthens your skill as a nurse because you need to allow the time to be able to be thrown into situations and know what to do. And when you are a travel nurse, you'll definitely know what to do because, you know, you're in a completely foreign place and you were able to figure that out. And I think that's something to be so proud of, you know, like I feel like when you get stuck in the motion of things, you don't realize what you're doing. And it's actually pretty cool. Like you are saving lives every day. But not only are you doing this, you're in a completely foreign place. You're away from your family and your friends. You don't know where you are. You've never been to this place before, but you're rocking it. And I want all the travel nurses to pat themselves on the back. Two times. It's really not easy stuff. But um, yeah, it's fun. It's great. And I love it. Um, I definitely think it's worth it. I don't think it's a forever job personally. I mean, it's up to y'all if you want to decide you want to do it forever. But I just know eventually I want to settle down. I don't want to be traveling for work 24-7. But it's definitely great to be able to travel and stack up as much as you can and have fun while you do it. And I'm enjoying this ride and I'll continue to ride it. And I will show y'all every step of the way. But yeah, um, travel nursing is definitely worth it. And if y'all have any other questions or are interested in travel nursing, definitely Put that in the comments and I will answer them for you. But until then, there'll be a lot more content on travel nursing and just my life in general. But thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time.